Hey guys and welcome to an extract guide on customs. So this extract guide is going to be covering every single extract, scav and PMC. We are currently at DOMS right now. This is going to be a live recording. So it's all going to be done under one go. So if I have any stutters or moments of blankness when I'm trying to explain something, I am extremely sorry. It's just I am a bit dopey. So guys, we are at dorms right now. This is three-story dorms and two-story dorms. I have recorded this a few times and I just want to get it done in the quickest way possible and starting from this location is the best location. So the first extract we are going to go to is dorms vehicle extract as well as old road gate. So dorms vehicle extract is a a PMC only extract and old road gate is a scav only extract but funny enough they're both at the same location this is the location so if the car is here and you're a PMC you're gonna have to fork out 7,000 rubles to get out of here or if you're a scav you don't have to deal with the car you just extract directly but yeah so this is the first extract location the next one we're gonna head up to is sniper roadblock this is a scav only extract just bear that in mind it is quite an open area so there is quite a bit of traffic coming through here as well from people who are at dorms when i head over to custom side and vice versa so if you're a scav just be a bit careful so at this location over here the extract is right here next to this truck. I'm going to show you a quick landmark so you guys kind of know what's going on. So in front of us is ice cream, which is this little shack right here. Over here to the left is construction. Up on top of that ridge over there is where Sniper Scab likes to, you know, snipe us from. Without giving us any warning, we just he just shoots first and asks questions later. And over here to the right is where the bridge is. So. The bridge, follow that road, and that would take you directly to where this truck is. And this is Sniper Roadblock. You can kind of tell because it's got these sniper marks here. Now, directly next to Sniper Roadblock is Smuggler's Boat. This is a PMC only extract. All you need to do is head down here, go directly for the water, just here. And okay, so it's not up. This is a a possibility of an extract but right here where i'm crouching is where the extract would be normally there's usually a fire here as well as a boat it is very visible during night time and during the day because you can see some smoke come up here and this is the extract right here as you can see it's not every time but to be honest with you it is up quite a lot of the time the next extract we are going to go hit up is railroad to port this is a scav only extract. We need to make our way over this bridge here into the customs area. So that's construction, that's ice cream, and we're gonna go make our way into customs over the bridge where you got the storage yard at the back or the very back. And then as you can see, big red, as some people call it, is just peeking its head over the train right there. So this train is where the extract is. On the right side here is the front of train and the back over there is the obviously the back of the train. But for this extract, you need to be in the front of the train. There is a fence right here and this is the extract railroad to port right here. Once again, there's a lot of traffic coming through, so you need to be careful from people coming from over that side of the map over to customs area. The next location we're going to go to is Crossroads. This is a PMC and scav extract. But it is just up the road, so as you can see here, that's big red. Um, it's also the Paradom building or something along the lines of that. It's the shipping company in Tarkov. It's their main logistics area. Or oh, logistics, you know, building. And then over here to the left is storage or garage. Um, whether you're British or the rest of the world. I think most people just call it storage. And then you're going to come up to this 
uh, truck right here and in front of it it will say stop and untar go home this is the extract for pmc in scavs if you're a pmc you extract right here as you can see on my screen or if you're a scav please don't extract me you need to come to this side uh, oh, please don't extract me and this is the extract right here next we are going to be going to trailer park so there are two very close names to each other you have trailer park and trailer park worker shack trailer park just those two words is a pmc only extract which is directly in front of us it's where these two trees are so don't get confused if you're a scav then why your extract is right next to it anyway so right here next to where the big trees are by this big bush is the trailer park extract it should pop up because here we go so this is the expert extract of trailer park it is quite a large hitbox it goes all the way up to like that i think that pine tree right there the next location we're going to go to is a trailer park worker shack so this is the scav variant so right here is the work shacks you can see storage is right here to the left you got the like trailer park actual trailer park over here to the left and this is the extract for the scav trailer park workers shack so we're gonna take a wonderful walk through the trailer park where there's a bus that spawns the 310 key by the way so if you're trying to find it it's right there you got loads of lorries good old bit of lollies as well as a uh, Luca. anyway so we are coming up to the ends of the train now and this extract is going to be railroad to tarkov so once again we're at the front of the train you have to be by the fence again you're going to need to be by the fence and this is the extract right here and this is a scav only extract the next location we are going to be going to is are you af roadblock now this is a roadblock that could possibly up or could not possibly be up the same as the extract over there a fire pit some rays it'll be up some rays it won't be this is by a quite famous location a lot of people will know the welcome to tarkov truck which is coming up directly in front of us the extract is right next to it this is a scav and a pmc extract so the way that you can tell that if this extract is up is if that light is on that one right there sometimes there's a current bug in the game it's been in it for quite a while actually and i'm not so sure why it's just this one but sometimes that light will be on but it won't actually extract you so you'll be here and the numbers will pop up and say extracting in you know five seconds or whatever it is but it doesn't actually extract you you just stand there looking like a muppet head. so if you get caught with that and it doesn't extract you straight away just run off and go to the other extracts the next extract we're gonna go and hit up is warehouse 17 it is a scav only extract it's just around the corner sorry i got a bit worried i've actually got a code down the bottom left of my screen which means i'm in a live game but i'm not actually in a live game um so this extract right here is warehouse 17 this is a scav only extract you just got to walk up to this gorgeous door with pac-man on it and this is the extract bear in mind this is high traffic location to be honest with you most of these extracts are um but this is a definitely high traffic location because you've got construction right here watch out for sniper scav i mean if you're a you know normal scav you don't have to worry unless you've been doing some scav on scav violence then you know you deserve to get shot by sniper scav <laughs> The next location we're going to go hit up is Factory Shacks. Once again, this is a PMC only, uh, sorry, Scav only extract, which is just coming up directly in front of us. So this is called Construction, that area there. This is called Tanks, and this is called Pits right here. And then this area up ahead is called New Construction. So inside New Construction, you got these two, you know, shacks on top of each other. And the extract is right here next to this giant snake. It looks like a giant snake when I took a photo with someone. It looked like they were from Australia and they killed this giant snake. Anyway, I digress. The next location we are going to be going to is Warehouse 4. 
So now we're starting to make our way up into the boiler side of the map. So this is bus terminal, just so you guys know. Up there is bus stop. Uh, there isn't really a call out for this area here. Um, but this is bridge. So this is the main bridge on customs. We'll go up and over. Up here to the right. You can't access it from this side unless you've got a key. This is warehouse 4. I'm going to show you a way of getting over to this location. This is a scav only extract. You can go through the door if you've got the keys. That is the factory key by the way. I do have a video for this key. If you look up the top right there should be an iCard popping up if I remember to do it. And a link in the top, in the top link of the description. But a little trick to get over to the other side of the wall. Jump over barbed wire, jump on this a slanted thing here, and then you just jump over. No running required, you don't need to sprint off that to jump over, you can just walk over. Of course the barbed wire hurts, so just bear that in mind. But up here, right at this location, this is warehouse 4, just here. The next location we're going to go hit up is Old Gas Station. I need to get these blood spots off of my screen. If you guys ever have blood spots stuck on your screen, the trick to get rid of it is if you spam tab. I believe that's how you get rid of it. But well, it's not working for me. So we might have blood spots on our screen for the rest of the video. Offline mode, they don't actually disappear, which is a big pain. So sorry if it's going to annoy you. So. Oh, gas station. You can see it's up because it is got the green flares. Where the green flares aren't up, the extract isn't available. So just bear that in mind. For PMCs only. So the flares only count for PMCs. If you're a PMC, you're going to need to go through here. Always check the table here, by the way. Any item in the game can spawn here. But anyway, you go through here, go downstairs. I feel like that blood is getting more and more. Are we bleeding? No. But here, if the game likes to catch up, is the extract for PMC. I'm going to go show you where the scav extract is. I really hope that it's going to calm down in a minute. The scav extract for Old Gat Station is just over here. And it is this blue fence right here. Blue? blue? Sorry. This red right here. This red giant door, and this is the extract for old gas station for a scav. The next location we're going to go hit up is ZB1012. This is a PMC only extract. It is another one that's temperamental, so it could be there, it might not be there. It's one of those ones again. It's actually quite an annoying bug in single player, these blood spots. I'm sorry if it's going to wind you up. It's winding me up, so I know how you feel. Okay, so this extract is up. The way you tell is if this light is on or by the... Basically, it's the same as if the bush is on fire. But the light is on. It's extremely bright. What you need to do is open up the door. There is a dead guy to the left, so don't get scared by him. And then the extract is directly here. Okay, so the next ex- Oh, barbed wire. Watch out for the barbed wire, by the way, there's barbed wire here. <laughs> the next extract we're going to go hit up is ZB1011. So this is one of the extracts that is always up. It's never not going to be up. This is a PMC only extract. But this is a guaranteed extract that's going to be up. So this is crane area, by the way right there this is sniper building sniper scab likes to spawn up there and pew everyone you got the catwalk which is this and then you got boilers or tanks this side of the map is called boiler side you got these two gorgeous towers standing nice and tall with the writing 1986 i think it's 86 yep so just there is I think it's Dead Man's Cart. I always call it um, the task one. The task cart. 
because there's a task in there you're going to need to do in the future. But up this road. Almost there. This is gun building. Uh, what, are, what other people call it? Loot building maybe? There's uh, guns. There's gun boxes inside that location so that's why I call it gun building. But here to the left, just like the one before, is another kind of underground passage. And this is ZB1011. The sex rat is always up. You just need to have to run all the way to this wonderful door. And this is the extract right here. The next location we are going to be going to is Factory Far Corner. This is a scav only extract, which is literally just over here. And right next to this shitter. This is the extract right here. Nice and easy. Okie doke. So the next extract we're going to go to is Administration Gate. Once again, it is a scav only extract. It is directly in front of us right here. So these, I think, is the reason why it's called boiler side because there might be giant boilers. I'm not so sure what they actually are, but let's just call them boilers for now. You've got this kind of cart here and right here to the right is admin gate. The next location we're going to go to is Scouts checkpoint, which is literally just up here through the gate and then it's right here. <laughs> Nice, short, easy one. So this is a new zone now. That is military checkpoint right there. There is a sniper scav that likes to sit in there who's an absolute beast, as well as a sniper scav that sits up there. So just be careful. The next extract we're gonna go to is military base CP, which I'm assuming is checkpoint. So this is actually the military base checkpoint but because of the new zone it has been pushed back in this direction you can see directly in front of us there is a gate and this is the extract military base cp all you need to do is walk up to the gate and that is the extract the next location is just up this path quite convenient actually this extract is called Passage Between the Rocks. So oh, let's follow it up. Oh look, there's a Passage Between the Rocks. <laughs> this isn't the extract by the way, it's just ironic. Might be why it's called Passage Between the Rocks. But anyway, so over to the left you have got the... I'm not so sure what it's called, we call it the... Um, the Power? Power, power line, power pole, because that's a power line. And then you've got this blue area, blue fence, then you got like the key spawn in there. If you come out in this direction. So you got two areas that look kind of the same. So you got this one over to the right that's got a really long fence here. And then you got this one that's a small fence. This is the extract called Passage Between the Rocks. This is a scav only extract. The other one, I don't know if I mentioned, is a scav only extract as well, the military base. A little thing I quickly show you as I'm here. There's a little hidden cache here. Okay, so the next location we're gonna be going to is Railroad to Military Base. This is the final extract of the video. Hopefully it hasn't been too long. But this is the extract right here. Once again, this is a scav only extract. You can ex access it from this side or you can crawl underneath the train or this side here. So guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. I know that it was a lot of me running around. I tried to point out landmarks where possible. So hopefully it's easy for you. It's just a quick overview of where all the extracts are. There are a lot of uh, maps online, especially on the Wikipedia page that show the extract locations if you are getting stuck if you're a new player i would always 100 percent recommend you to put a map on your second monitor so you can understand where the locations are and if you need to extract easily guys i do have extracts in other videos so you can go check those out 
that cache over there there are a huge amount on every map so i do have guides for those as well they're called hidden caches or caches or hidden stashes or stashes the last one i made up um but yeah there will be a link in the description for those as well guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this guide useful and guys i'll see you in the next video